More actions being taken against the city and county of Denver for the actions of police during protest about a month ago. Today, the ACLU filed a lawsuit against Denver and Denver 7's Gary Bro talked to some people hurt in the protests. They say by police who are now seeking justice. You've seen the videos. And heard their stories. They shot me. I think with a rubber bullet. Eyes open, eyes open, eyes open. Literally hit me directly in the eye. I was completely blinded uh, because uh, of the gas and my tears. It was only a matter of time before those stories were told in court. For me, it is advocating for people in the future who are going to organize and protest together. Dr. April Alexander was at the very first night of protests. When I arrived, uh, gas was already going off. Zach Packard protested that first weekend. And I want justice for everyone because what I witnessed was actually horrific. He says he was hit in the head by a projectile. It fractured the plate in my skull and fractured my jaw. And, and um, it knocked me unconscious immediately. So I hit the ground and that's what fractured my neck. Packard and Alexander are now part of the ACLU's lawsuit against the city and county of Denver, claiming excessive force was used on the crowd, causing several injuries. ACLU also claims in that lawsuit that DPD should be responsible for the actions of assisting departments. DPD's Internal Affairs Department and the city's independent monitor are both doing independent reviews of the use of force. Ah. And the city attorney's office tells Denver 7 they are confident that DPD is in compliance with the requirements of the recently passed Law Enforcement Integrity Act with respect to law enforcement response to protest or demonstrations. I'm sorry. Ah. Okay. In Denver, Gary Brode, Denver 7.